Hi, this is Jackie Mosney from UC Berkeley's IEOR 190G, The Smartphone Patent War. This week, I'll be continuing talking about silly patents as I discuss patent number 7,137,935, the Office Gym Exercise Kit. This patent was issued November 21st, 2006, and pretty much what this patents is putting a resistance band around a standard office chair and then exercising with that band. I know it sounds ridiculous as silly patents do, but I'm going to go into more details and explain it. The patent itself has patented the specific type of office chair you use, every element of it from six legs, the certain back, to the type of bolts you use, to the shape underneath the chair that connects the legs of the chair to the back of the chair where you can hook in the band. And what it's used for, as said in the abstract, it's a portable exercise kit that provides a number of exercises performed by the user, including arm, leg, and back exercises. The kit components are capable of attaching about a chair post and a chair back to support, to provide support for the exercise for the user. So then it continues to say that a flexible body is wrapped around the post and under the base of the chair and then secured such that the flexible body remains in place around the chair post. So at your home, if you use a resistance band, you would simply put it around the door. This is saying you would put it, you would use your office chair, hopefully in a cubicle where you don't really have much space, and then exercise from this. What's ridiculous about this patent, other than it's as simple as putting two ideas together, which are a resistance band and an office chair, and then exercising from the stability of the chair, is the fact that there's no way of finding one who's infringing on this. I mean, if people are doing this in their office, is someone who patented this going to be going around office to office to see if people are actually doing this themselves, or if they're using the portable kit that they bought, which is a pretty simple one to make? Also, you can just use any standard office chair and wheels, not the specific one they patented, which I think really pigeons, pigeonholes them when they go into all the details describing what kind of chair needs to be used. Um, the first claim is pretty lengthy and wordy, but it's just describing the fact that they need a stable back where they can put the band through. Anyways, this is a pretty ridiculous patented idea, and the fact that it was even patented in the U.S. and relatively recently, it bewilders me, but this idea, I guess, may be a popular one to exercise while in the office, but I'm not really sure how often that's happening, um, or how good of an idea this was to patent, since it's hard to catch infringers. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.